what's up people I'm back again with another video today I'm installing another double den into a den and a half O2 Chevy Avalanche I already pulled the bezel off you're gonna need a few things to do this I shouldn't explain how to take the bezel off but I'm gonna do it anyways turn the key to the on position drop your tilt low as you could Drop your gear selector as low as you can go, and then grab, and it pops right off. Put your selector all the way back up, turn the car off. And this is what you left with if you got the factory radio. In order to remove the radio, you got to push these tabs down on each side. Push it down, and it slide out. So this is my factory radio, and I already started working on this. As you see, I cut the tip of the top off, and I cut the metal bracket, which is these two pieces. It's actually broken half. I used a Dremel to take this out, and I cut this out with a sawzall. See, I tucked my wires. I pulled them back out, but I tucked my wires way over in this corner, and... This is my double den that I had in my Dodge Ram. It fits in there now. Can only go so far back. It's almost flush with the uh, the deck of the heater. But it's sloppy. I don't like that. So what I did was, on the factory radio here, I took these rails off. I flipped it over. Took all the screws off, and this is what it looked like. That's what your radio looked like without that lid on it. I took this deck, slid it back in here. Where are we? Then I took my radio that I'm gonna put in there. No, y'all notice every time I do this shit. Let me get this in. I gotta use two hands because I gotta hold this up. Okay, I'm back. I got it in. If y'all notice, I don't ever use a dash kit. Only thing I do is buy a wire harness. This is the harness to the radio, but I still gotta buy the harness from Walmart that plugs into this. I don't ever buy a dash kit because they sit in there tight enough. It's got a little play. Especially while, so you got a gap on both sides. But I'm gonna show y'all what I did. You got the factory, the factory bezel. This top part is where the radio cassette go. This is my factory one from O2 Avalanche. I went to the junkyard and got another one. But this one is from a GMC Sierra, and this is a lot bigger. I think this was from a 05 Sierra. Everything lines up. The only difference is, you guys got to get with me, if y'all don't mind, this little gap right here up under will be showing. Because this deck for your heat controls is not as long well it will actually come down to here it's not as long as the the um sierra i'm not a hundred percent sure if i can get the sierra heating controls and mount them in here maybe it'll come down here and take up that gap i don't know what the if the plugs are even the same but i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like with the uh the deck on this bezel so I got my radio in. As you see, it's sticking out way far. I just put it in there just so y'all can see. But I don't use dash kits. I just put them in there. Take it. Push it to where you need it to go. And this time, I'm not going to um, two-sided tape it. I'm just going to... Uh-oh, I dropped my face plate. 
I got the little small, small gaps on the side. I'm just going to take some hot glue on this face plate and put it right on the edge of here. Hot glue ain't going to hurt nothing. You ain't got to do all of that trimming. And it sits up there like that. Like I said, in the meantime, I'm going to find some more ABS plastic. I probably probably use... um. My uh, flexi, flexi, my plexiglass, and just cut it out, hot glue it here, and paint it black, just to cover up that, that that gap. It really don't bother me. Like I said, this is my own vehicle, but look how clean that looks now. You ain't gotta cut out anything except for these two pieces. This piece here at the top, you gotta cut out because on the top and the inside, it comes down. So the radio not going to be able to go all the way back. So if you cut it out, you can push it back. But then this piece here, in the inside of the car, it sits in an angle this way. So it can only go far, so far back. So if you cut it out, you can get your radio in. So that's what my radio look like in the O2 Avalanche. Again, I'm going to get some plexiglass. Uh... And just paint it black and just hot glue it there and that'll cover that gap but let me know what y'all think o2 chevy avalanche double den install make sure you comment like subscribe